Excellence lives here, here in Northeastern Indiana. It's reflected in more than 200 nationally recognized degrees. It drives our Division I sports. It's alive in our campus life. Excellence has a name, IPFW. Around our campus, around the country, around the world. Excellence lives here. Indiana University, Purdue University, Fort Wayne. One university, two great names. This is Arts Weekly. Arts Weekly is presented by the College of Visual and Performing Arts at IPFW, offering degrees in fine arts, music, theater, and visual communication and design. IPFW, the energy of the arts. Welcome to this edition of Arts Weekly. We have such an interesting show today. I can't wait for you to meet our guests. I'm Melinda Haynes with the IPFW College of Visual and Performing Arts. In the second half of the show, we will meet Rukmini Viji Kumar, who will tell us about her traditional Indian dance performance at IPFW this weekend. But first, we're going to meet Lynn Bartling and Rick Fisher from a Renaissance in Roanoke, an art fair happening this Saturday. Welcome to both of you. Thank you. I'm so glad that you're here. Can you tell us what is the Renaissance in Roanoke? Well, the Renaissance in Roanoke is a, an art show that we put on. This is our fifth year, and uh, we have uh, 60 juried artisans that are coming in this year from the region. And uh, the the art show is itself um, what what the main spotlight is. Mm -hmm. And we have a, a exhibit of elementary school to high school, college, and then also a plein air paint out. So that in is the show itself. So it's a big festival. Big like festival, things celebrating the arts, yeah. And how did, did this organization get started? How did this festival start? Well, it got started about, again, five years ago with uh, uh, talking with local business owners and, and artisans and, and talking about doing something to create uh, uh, the public to come down and, and enjoy the historic downtown Roanoke a little bit more. We talked about trying to get something each month, and, and uh, the art show was the first thing on our list of doing. So it kind of started that way, and uh, just kind of building a little bit more each year. And when is it going to take place? This is October 13th, this Saturday. This Saturday. You know, from uh, 10 to 5. So all it's day It's always the second Saturday of October. Okay, that's a good thing for everybody to remember to look forward to it right. in, in the years to come. Now, where is Roanoke? Well, Roanoke is uh, uh, south on 24, heading to Huntington out of Fort Wayne, and the corner, our uh, intersection of Lafayette Center Road and 24. But downtown Roanoke is one block uh, west in, off of uh, 24. So. Uh, it's the historic Main Street corridor. So there are several blocks that are kind of, you know, have tents and things like that that are set up for the... Correct. Well, it, yes, it will be two blocks this year because we have expanded. Uh, Main Street is closed between 1st and 2nd Street and then we will go north on Main Street uh, because our plein air is meeting at Crestwoods. <laughs> Okay. which is at 314 North Main Street. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's a two-day event. Uh, artists can sign in uh, tomorrow between 11 and 12, paint all afternoon, or they can come on Saturday morning between 8 and 9 and have their canvases stamped and paint until 1 o'clock. And then Charles Shepard, the director of the Art Museum, will uh, judge the competition and there are cash prizes. And how many do you expect to take part in, in that? In the plein air we have nine registered but we are open to anyone walking in and we would welcome uh, any other plein air artists, plein air artists to uh, stop by. I think that sounds like a really interesting thing to watch take place to you know watch art being created right there on the street. Right. It's a very that, French sounding thing to yes. you know go and and watch that happen. That's right. And that that's one of the attractions of uh, Renaissance in Roanoke. Mm -hmm. uh, the plein air painters are scattered throughout town and uh, people are invited to just stop and So like watch on different them. corners there yes. might be someone mm -hmm. with a different right. view, you know, to... I think there's a, uh, we have a picture of we one do. of our plein air painters that right. you have. Yeah, if you could bring that picture up to 
show us that would be yeah look at that yeah. so they create these masterpieces just within those hours yeah it's to you know capturing the moment in um, with the sunlight mm -hmm. um, in the prime of the peak of the day and so it's just an impressionism uh, of that window when the sunlight is at its best you know, so they capture that moment well, that'll be a wonderful thing to, mm -hmm. to see now uh, Rick, you're a founder of this renaissance in Roanoke. One of many, why, yes. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, why was it started? And I remember being near Roanoke in the late 70s, and Roanoke was, you know, just a little teeny old-fashioned town, mm -hmm. but not too much going on. But now well, it's, it's not it that is, way. The town has gone through a bit of a renaissance, and that's mm -hmm. kind of where we, we came up with the name, the, the rebirth or renewal uh, of the historical kind of corridor. Uh, the Eshelmans that uh, invested a lot in town with the restaurant and mm -hmm. their business, and it kind of started um, the, the the growth and, and other businesses and other artisans started coming into town. So it, it kind of made sense. It made uh, the, the desire was there, the want to put something nice like this together for not only for the community but also for the region. It's just such a quaint little town. I mean, to walk mm -hmm. through it is just a, a lovely place to visit, whether there's a festival or not going mm -hmm. on. Is so, why the name? What is significant about the the name, a Renaissance in Roanoke? Well, again, it's like um, uh, again the rebirth or the renewal mm -hmm. of the downtown mm -hmm. and uh, um, the whole arts, um, bringing back the, the culture, bringing back the appreciation. Uh, getting people to um, enjoy that and, and, and appreciate the, uh, the the talents that go into a lot of different things with fine art. So it's not um, a medieval no, festival. No, no, no. <laughs> yeah, you know, you got fine food, fine wines, mm -hmm. the, the cultures of, of, of all that, and, and art fits right into that too wow. as well. Now, how how is this funded? You know, do the artists pay anything to be in? Are there yes. sponsors? Yeah. Well, there is a a modest fee. The artists pay thirty. $30 for a booth, mm -hmm. um, but the uh, we started this on a shoestring, yeah. mm -hmm. <laughs> literally, <laughs> and um, we have built up some credibility in the community, and we have some, uh, this year for the first time, we have an Indiana Arts Commission grant, mm -hmm. as well as Arts United has supported us, and for the first time, we have a major um, a sponsor in Vera Bradley. So uh, Vera Bradley's plant is out there mm -hmm. on the edge of Roanoke, and so they have stepped up. But the back of our brochure is full of sponsors. Yeah. So yeah. And people we have who love to help from large and be to a part small, of it. Right. Yeah. Yeah. and all that helps. Yeah. Well, and one of the things that you're doing this year that I think is unique is you're auctioning off one of the paintings from last year. Mm -hmm. Can you tell me a little bit about that painting and how that will work? This is so such fun. Yeah. Um, Angie Delauder from Wabash brings a great big canvas and she paints something on it. Uh, last year it was the outline of a tree and then she invited everybody who came by to put a leaf on the mm -hmm. tree. Mostly kids. Yeah, from, yeah. mostly, yeah, yeah. right, mostly. but there were some adults. Some adults that got involved, oh, yeah. right, sure. Yeah. And so we've had, it's been on display at Roanoke Elementary School and we're going to auction it off at two o'clock on Saturday. Uh, we have a volunteer auctioneer <laughs> in Neil Snyder and um, it's, whatever we get from it will go toward our high school scholarship that we give. Yeah. Sounds like a lot of fun to yeah. take part in that. Now the festival is a lot more than just an exhibition. You know, mm -hmm. you've got art going on that's going to be judged and a lot of other things. Can you tell me what all is involved? I know we've heard about the plein air, but. Right. Well, we start with elementary school. The elementary school children, uh, third, fourth, and fifth graders uh, have a plein air. Um, of their own, yeah. and uh, those paintings will be displayed in uh, Zent Common, and there are prizes for uh, first, first, second, and third place. Then we uh, give a $1,000 scholarship to a high school student mm -hmm. uh, who's going to pursue the arts, and we have a college exhibit and sale and uh, prizes, cash prizes for the college students, and then we have the uh, plein air. Well, how many artists are actually taking place in this? It sounds like quite a you few. You figured a little over 100. Oh, yeah. wow. And that's all. 
Yeah, the the college exhibit itself will probably have I think what thirty five forty. No, they had they had more sixty entries? some okay. entries this year, a and lot I'm lot not more than I thought growing too. every growing. year. Yeah. I'm not sure how many they're going to exhibit, but uh, yeah. and that, that's from the the area universities, right. um, all kind of helping getting involved or students getting involved. And it's not just paintings, right? You have uh, other sorts of artists. You've got yeah. potters like yourself, oh, right. jewelers, and um, all different styles of media. Mm -hmm. you yeah, and, and there we tr we try to bring um, as much variety of the type of art as possible. So you know we we try to keep uh, um, uh, maybe at least a, a six of one style, and then have other artisans kind of explain and, and show their wares. So as there's well. something for everybody. Sure, exactly. Mm -hmm. And there's children's activities going on as well, so yes. the whole family can yeah. Yeah. have a good time down here. Um, there are three free children's activities in Zent Common, but we also have uh, face painting. Huntington University uh, professor there does that with her students, and uh, we this year for the first time we have a woman who does uh, cut paper and silhouettes, oh, oh. and they will, sh there's a charge for those, but she'll be close to Zen Common as well. So there's something for everyone. And there's even a performer, I understand, a street performer who's yes. come to visit you before and has come back. Yeah, uh, Mr. Taps, he's from Chicago, and he was uh, two years ago actually doing a, uh, a show at the Honeywell Center, and they mentioned to him that uh, our show was going on at the same time and he had some time to uh, come down and visit and he actually for free just just started doing performance and <laughs> doing the show and people loved him and and it was a lot of fun for us too and and uh, he happened to be back this year and uh, the timing worked out well so he's going to come back to the show again. Yeah, and, it's and fun to have those yeah. little traditions start. Yeah. And, and you've got some recycled art going on as well too. I think that's a very mm -hmm. unique yes. aspect. Can you um, tell me a little bit about that? Yeah, Michael um, Hopner, he's from Wabash, and he's got a very unique style of uh, taking uh, unique metal art, and, and it could be of different uh, uh, pieces of uh, like an old bicycle or, mm -hmm. or a horse saddle or bull horns and things of that nature, and, and he paints them in such a way that they become very unique art pieces for the home or commercial environments. That sounds like a, one very, of a kind. Yeah, very interesting to see. Yeah. So, the event is this Saturday, 10 to mm -hmm. 5, right. in Roanoke. Mm -hmm. And do you have a website, or is there yes. a way that people could get more information for this year and next? Renaissanceinroanoke.org. All one word, Renaissanceinroanoke.org. And all the information is right there. Yes. Well, thank you so much for being here today. Thank Saturday promises to be a bustling art paradise down in Roanoke. A renaissance in Roanoke is just one of many events taking place in our area. As we prepare for our next guest, please take a minute to view our performance calendar of what is coming up in our region, and keep in mind that you can follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube. We'll be right back with Rukmini Vajikumar. <laughs>